That's hey, you ain't got no Hall of Fame cuticles on your toes, mother. <laughs> How about that? You know what? <laughs> you keep looking at my toes, dog, man. What you trying to tell me, dog? I thought you had a sock on when you first came in. <laughs> Hold up. Limitless. Take a sip of cap, pin in it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm finna get me up. On the mission, get me up. Knowing me, I got the key. On the vision, I can trust. Trust. Limitless. Take a sip of cap, pin in it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm finna get me up. On the mission, get me up. Knowing me. Well, sure, we're back again, man. Free Freddy, whoever this dude is, and Hall of Famer. Ooh. Charles Haley. Ooh. Before we started this, though, Charles, man, like you had, you had a lot of jokes. The rumor was that you had changed your life. You had become a better person. Hey, I'm the change I want to see in others. So why did you come in on fire already? Talking about you talking about Channing Hair. The truth will set you free, and I freed y'all. And now, <laughs> now you want to, now you want to dig on, hey, cause I freed you. Then you got a problem. I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. You know, you but don't? I, I don't. I just can't. I feel like that's a hard way to make friends. Do you have a lot of friends? No, but I'm OK with it. But I got a lot of dogs. Dogs are more loyal. I tell people all the time, I don't need no more friends. I feed them. I talk to them. They don't talk back, hey. though. Do you put lotion on them? I rub they them. say you was out there kicking powder <laughs> before you came. <laughs> <laughs> you going to ride. Hey, you going to ride, hey, Haley. You got to ride. Hey, you got to ride. You going to ride. You from the old hey. school. Hey, y'all haters. They say you like to go raw anyway. Hey, man, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I do it all. But he, but he older now. They didn't have lotion when you was young. What? Did they have lotion they when had you had lard. <laughs> you, know, you had to rub lard on you? Yeah, you put that lard on there. <laughs> it kept you shining all day. <laughs> so that's why you was so slippery out there with them, yeah, yeah, them, them pass yeah. rush moves. Yo, it's... It, Big fan, man. I grew up. I love Emmett. War 22 when I was a kid for Emmett Smith. And I love hey, y'all team. Y'all two should switch, man. Them white teeth, he got the you know, bleach white teeth blinding me, man. I don't know what's going Them on. Thing, that's first a visit line. That's a visit line. That's, that's a visit line. Yeah. Is that what that white that, that, um, thing they use what? for the camera to make sure it's white? The pretty one. What yeah. the hell, bro? Like, dog. Yeah. We finna, like, this, some furniture gonna move at some point. <laughs> and here's the other, here's the other thing. If Channing ain't had these rat bird teeth, right, it wouldn't be the comparison <laughs> of comparing your little chicklets I just, to mine. I was about to ask Charles, like you said, so if his teeth are white, what color are my teeth, Charles? Dog. Mother of pearl. Dog. <laughs> hey, dog, yellow. Oh, yellow. Oh, yellow. Ah, yellow. Like a dog. Oh, he said, oh, yellow. yellow. Charles, oh. I got a golden retriever in my mouth. Nah, nah, you got mustard in your mouth. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh, oh, bro. God, he came here jumping off. All the guys them. on the, the old school cowboys, you was the comedian in the locker room. Yeah, I had fun, bro. They didn't like it too much, though, because, you know, um, they can give a joke, but they can't take a joke. Right. And my problem is I'm not going to just throw one. I'm going to throw two, three, four, well, five. Well, hell, we see that. Well, you know, hey, man, it is what it is. You must have got a lot of fights. Fight, man, you know what? That's passion. Fight is passion. When two teammates fight, they're just showing true love to one another. I, you know what? I told this to RC. I said that's a man relationship. Yeah. When two men have a, rela a man relationship, y'all make fun of each other, and you yeah. might have to lock up. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. done locked up with teammates before? I locked up a lot of things with teammates, man, yeah. If you had to guess how many teammates you fought? It's been a bunch. But you talking about 10, 30? From high school up, about coaches, players. You fought coaches, too? Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of high school coming up, man. That's why I have trust issues. OK. Because um, you know, they would send players in to jump me and all this other stuff, man. So, you Was know. that racial stuff, though? No. Send players in no. to jump you? Hey, you, you know, you know what the deal is? They, you know, when they can't control something, they can't break my spirit. Right. But they tried. Yeah. Mm. But you know what? Every time they tried, it made it stronger. So they should have stopped trying. They might have broke it then. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Um, they can't define me. Obviously, you wanted to. Greatest players to ever play the position. Multiple Super Bowls with two different teams. Played for two of the most storied franchises in football. But it took you a long time to get in the Hall of Fame. There are a lot of people who are on your side saying that that should have happened as a first ballot Hall of Famer. Do you think it was that personality that refused to be broken? The personality uh, that you did should, you? You should rethink uh, when you say storied franchises. 
the players made the franchise. Okay. The franchises owned the players. Right. But we made the franchise. It's yeah. great. And when I look back, they didn't look at my body of work. They looked at my personality. They looked at, I didn't want to do interviews. You know what? I, I'm not going to be that guy that they can say stuff about and then think they can be my friends tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I keep it 100 real. Yeah. And uh, they don't understand that. And so if the media says certain things about you or... Yeah, we got to have that conversation. Really? You couldn't let it go? Uh, you say yes or no, he going to make you look like a fool. How can you allow that to pass? How can you allow others to think that they can do the same thing to you down the road? So you set a standard from the beginning. You ain't doing that to me. You it. ain't doing it, so you damn sure you ain't going to do it. If he had played back in your era, he'd have been in your hip pocket because he was wild out there, too. He was? Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah, he would have been still my hip slightly pocket. crazy, he, but he it's a funny crazy. He would have definitely been in my, my back pocket because he would always be behind me on the bench, you know? <laughs> Dang, like, Shannon. Yeah, well, no. Charles. Shannon, it's, that's not a lie, though. The man Hall of Famer, though. Ah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you, a, you ain't hey. got no Hall of Fame cuticles on your toes, <laughs> mother. How about that? You know what? <laughs> you keep looking at my toe, dog, man. What you trying to tell me, dog? You must, hey, wanna, you must want to put some lotion hey, on them. Huh? Hey, Channing, Channing, them hoes done dragged the free agents. For oh, sure. hey, yeah, 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 that ain't going first hey, round. Hey, dog, what are y'all doing, man? I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to turn white, dog, little, one foot at a time. I know. What are y'all doing, Speaking dog? Of that, I'm surprised. Of that, you I thought go... you had a sock on when you first came in. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of that, though, <laughs> you, you, tell us about the White House. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, um, I saw no. I saw President um, Bush. Mm -hmm. okay. I saw Clinton. Yeah. Okay. I um, come on now, come on now, come I, on I saw, now. Like, what are you talking is, about? Is it is it like a sacred thing where you like? You can't talk about it. You can't about talk what? about it. It's like the Fight Club. Fight I told y'all I went to the White House. Don't talk about my it. Super Bowl. The infamous and White then House. And I got invited to the White House um, by different presidents. You been to those White Houses? I've been. I was, I've only been once. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey, you been to, I got to see President they, Obama, they, though. That's minute. like 17 years. I just got a question for you. Yes, Did sir. you go to the Oval Office? No, sir. Okay, then. Shh, shh, shh. Bro, it's our shh, show. Shh. Charles, Let's, what you doing? Don't talk Charles, shit when you ain't did that. I, and if Charles, I, hey. Hey, what are you even talking about? He over there, over there talking shit. I ain't been nowhere, ain't been nowhere. I ain't been nowhere, yeah. dog. And if you they kick him, him, and if you... didn't let him walk through a little room, and he happy. Yeah. Walk on the, the lawn. Yeah. And if you kick him, he gonna bleed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you might not want to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got in there, and they, 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 they was, couldn't catch that breath. And I told them, that's <laughs> the smell of greatness. And when my black ass leave, it goes with me. So, you know, they were in there, <laughs> <laughs> they were in there trying to get it. Yeah. <laughs> they were in there trying to get it. Charles, who was, who was, because you, you seem like, like we've now come to the conclusion that you just are a bad person. Um, <laughs> who was, uh, like, your favorite teammate? Uh, Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott was, um... Was it because he was me and an a-hole like you too? No, you know what? I couldn't, figure, I couldn't figure Ronnie out. Because he could turn that light bulb on and off. And I couldn't understand how you could do that. I'm one of those guys that I'm a, um, I people watch. I, I just sit and watch, and I try to learn as much as I could, and um, I couldn't learn, and I was getting frustrated. Whatever he did, I went with him and stuff, and he made me go, he made me go to this um, barbershop where he was giving out shoes, man, and this 10-year-old kid changed my life because he walked up to Ron and said, what makes you great? And he said, I play without fear. Hell, I got from under his shadow after that point. I put fear in others. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I was good. But, um, yeah, he said, man, Joe Montana, yeah. hey, man, I, you know, I, I'm going to tell you, God's grace and mercy is, is so abundant. Yeah. I, you know, I, I walked in the NFL, dog, and now uh, I'm coming from Gladys, Virginia. I'm, we was in church all day Sunday, so I don't know who these people are. And I, and I get drafted there, and Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Ronnie, Roger Craig, all these guys just playing with me. And I didn't know who they were, man. And then 
I got down to a preseason game, and that program, you know how you get scared and you start wanting to read something? I went to the picture book, though. I didn't want to read none. I just went to the picture, and I saw all these pictures <laughs> of Joe Montana, and, I'm, and then Ron and So I got up, and I'm going, and I just sat there, and I just kept asking myself, God, what are you telling me? Yeah. You know, I had to um, tell Coach Walsh, I said, Coach, I said, um, am I going to get a chance to play? He said, well, you know, normally when you, I said, sir, am I going to get a chance to compete? He said, well, um, I said, uh, is that yes or no? He said, yes. I said, so I walked off, right? I think he was still talking. Right. But you know what? All I want to know is if I'm going to get that opportunity because I don't sit on nobody's bench. That's so crazy, though. Think about the names he just said. Right. Ronnie Lott, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Roger Craig. Those teams were different. Like and those he teams. Didn't even, he didn't even know who they were when he got there. But like he didn't even. You didn't know the lineage of those Hall of Fame guys. You did you think not watching football helped you? Because you, you like you can respect. No, people. no fear though. Like people. you have yeah. no fear because these dudes aren't on this pedestal. They just they're human beings that's out here running around. You think it helped you not to watch football when you were coming in? Man, you know, hey, we want to be honest. Most of the people we play with, we don't respect. Because yeah. yeah. the more you know about them, the less you respect them. Mm. But because of the mm. things they, they do or the or person they are. Yeah. My thing about those guys became um, a friends of mine. Or yeah. um, not, you know, not like me and Ronnie, though, but they were friends of mine. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't even tell you most of the people I played against because all they were a number yeah. on that shirt and that weight and height. Yeah. That's all I want to know because... I never want to know, know this guy, read his history, because his kids might have cancer. His kids, so, you know, he might have something. You didn't and want then to be I feel like, no way. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to feel guilty for the guy going, you know, trying to, you know, take his job or something. So yeah. I said, okay, I put it like that, because all I need to know is on your second step, where are you? Yeah. You leaning and or you your chest going up? Cause whichever way you doing, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad for you. And we saw we saw you do a lot of people bad. Yeah. Do you watch much football these days? No, this is not this is not the game that I know. Mm. This is for my kids' generation. They're training them to play um, to look at flag football, mm -hmm. where a quarterback can play till you're 100 years old. Yeah. Half of these guys, Tom Brady would have never played over. If he'd have played in our division, hey, played against the D. We take two and a half steps and plant you, and then get a flag. Yeah, this is a different game. You know what I'm saying? Different different game. Game. You, so, you, you, think, you think it's just and way you know, softer? I don't know how you look at players of the day and try to compare them with the players of our day. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason why I'm not playing anymore because the chip block, because they used to do it at the mm -hmm. hip. Now they do it at the shoulder. Right. Hey, you can't engage. Uh, you know, it's they change those you can't lines. Chop block, play. you can't right. crack back, right. all those things. Yeah, so you know, those rules are making guys play longer. So guess what? That stats gonna be better than mm -hmm. than everybody else's stats. Then they had 13 damn games. 17. 17 games, yeah. yeah, so, yeah 17 you know, this year. so Charles, it, it's you was a bad man. You was a bad man because we younger than you. We all watched I, you. One hundred percent. We everybody. Dang, they scared of you from the crib. Yeah, you was coming you off that it, edge. Did y'all write this question now? Because he don't look smart. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't look smart. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, what? Now he write he write his questions down on his yeah, notebook. Yeah, but he so. can't even read it. He read it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even read it. On <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, man! <laughs> you go, <laughs> you gonna ride with them hot <laughs> waters on? Ride, ride. <laughs> no matter how much it rains, your pants ain't gonna get wet. Yeah, yeah hey. it ain't going to get but, but, but you a bad man. It, who did you play against that you respect? Years of you playing a, a tackle or a guard, a quarterback? Because you really yeah. don't seem like you got yeah. friends. You don't got to be friends with them, but who do you respect bro, from all your years? He don't seem like room? nobody uh, bro, like him. He got to have a name. He got Everybody respects somebody. Well, no, at the Hall of Fame, they tell us about some damn brotherhood. Right, right, right. And I had to stand up and tell them something. I, Jacket Slater hit me so damn hard. I saw Jesus Christ in all three forms. You saw the Father, Son, and I the Holy it Spirit? All, I, <laughs> hey, dog, and it was doing like this. Hey, <laughs> and I said, y'all want me to talk about some damn brotherhood like I'm in love with it? <laughs> no, nah, bruh. Ain't happening. I said, this is one of those things. I'm going to take to heaven and say, Lord, forgive me. Because I didn't forgive him. 
And then uh, Anthony Munoz, I played against Monster. him, man. Yeah. Monster. But I, I, I caught both of those guys at the end of that game, man. Mm -hmm. But they all taught me something, right? right. And Anthony Munoz, man, I beat him for a sack, man. And, you know, I didn't know what Spanish was. When I grew up, it's black and white. Mm -hmm. And um, so I beat him, and he started saying stuff, right? So I'm, I man, bruh. I you don't know, know what's going on, bro. I don't know what's going on. I ran off the field. You beat him, bop, bop. What you hit him with a little, little spin, little dog, rip? No, no, he just got that real speed, dog. You just hit it, he touched it. Yeah, slap, dog, you slap know what it what outside on me. They got call it a blitz. You on just, a blitz, I don't get touched. You don't get touched. You, don't get touched. you just go. So you gonna get a MC Hammer can't touch this. Oh, first off, that tell you how old he is. He would MC Hammer. MC Hammer quote. But Anthony Munoz. Hall of he Famer. starts speaking Spanish to you, and you leave the field. No, he starts speaking Spanish. I don't know what he was talking to himself or what. Hey, bruh. So that scared you? That, that, so you were Terrified scared? me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't scared of name man in the world, but you scared, scared of Spanish? Spanish. <laughs> bruh, let me tell you, I went from Virginia to, the da to San Francisco airport. I got off the plane, and I touched a white guy and asked him what badge claim. He spoke a different language. I touched a black guy. He spoke a different language. Bruh, I went back to that gate. I was ready to go home. I was trying to find out how do I get back home, dog. And then John Gruden. Yeah. He, you know, he was working for the Fort now doing all that little pickup stuff. Yeah. So I kept hearing my name over the intercom, man. No. He might be glad he came to that gate. John Gruden came, got you? Yeah. You just gonna leave? Yeah, man, I ain't never seen, heard, no seen nothing. I thought this TV show. When you hear all that um, different languages and stuff, yeah. I thought it was acting, man. I didn't know that was real. So, no, what so part you of got Virginia draft, are you, you from? Got, but, RC, you get drafted at 20, what, 21? 21, 20. You got drafted at 21 and never heard another language other than English. Correct. Were you a slave? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> bruh, I'm from a small town in the country. Oh, hey, what are you talking about, you hey, dumb hey, ass? Hey, hey, <laughs> bruh. Hey, really? Bruh. Y'all got more experience than me, man. I, I don't, I, you know, look at the cities you come from. Yeah. I ain't come from the city. I came from a small little country town. He cuts hey, his hell. Bruh, bruh, in my little small country town, it's that own law. Our town is segregated. So black cops come to our neighborhood, white go there, mm -hmm. and, and they'll come pick you up, put you in the front seat, no handcuffs, never pull out a gun, because everybody knew each other. Mm -hmm. And they'll drive you to the courthouse and bring you back home. Y'all, y'all in the cities. When you go out in those rural areas in the country, you gonna figure something out. Mm. You know, I, until I got to college, I never seen a, a black person with a white person. Mm -hmm. Talking about like a relationship, right? Until I got to college, you never saw an interracial like, relationship till college. Yeah. Was it because of the 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 racism, or was it just because of where you were, where you where you were from, like a, the place you Man, were from? Everything is understood. It's not about. Um, racism, mm -hmm. it's just, it's understood language. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You are taught that as That's a crazy. kid and, and you watch it. You know, your mom ain't saying, hey, don't do this. You know, mm -hmm. you see it. Right. And you're going like, you know, you ask yourself, okay, why? You know, everybody stay in that lane. And you you a big football star. You ain't never shoot at no white girl? No. You never shot at a white girl? When? When you was young. When, when you was young. You know he shot at a white girl. No. He's at the White House. Oh, when, when he was in Dallas. I yeah, know you that. already know. He was pew pew. You see, what, you see yeah. hey, he pew pew when he got to the Dallas. <laughs> the Dallas, hey, pew pew. He was shooting hey. off the hill. Yeah, he was. You didn't even pull it out the poster. You just turned the holster and shot. His <laughs> young gang suspect. Yeah, hey, man. What place you like better though, San Fran or Dallas? Not the team, the place to live. Cause you don't want to talk about the White House. What what was a better environment? What was more fun? What did you enjoy more? For me, it wasn't about. California or Dallas, uh, football was my life, mm. it, it was my love. So when they traded me from California, everything from California went to shit. After Jerry picked me up and said, I got your back, Texas became my place, man. Yeah. But, you know, if I have to talk about what I've learned, I learned the game of football in California. Mm -hmm. They taught me the game. Mm -hmm. At the Cowboys, man, it's about four defenses and and um, repetition, you know, you got these guys that can run all day, jump through the roof, dumber than hell, and so they had, they had four, they had four defenses. Man, I would go to sleep, bro. And the millions. Yeah, and then the, then they want you to practice. Well, practice is part of the game, Charles. What? 
Show me on a contract somewhere where they put in there, you got to practice X number of days. You get paid to you practice. Get, no, but you don't. You, know what? you, you get paid point. for the game. You must. You get paid boy, on Sunday, RC. Hey, Channing, he's well, dumb. Channing. I'm not dumb. Yes, you, you had to pay me. You, be well, you had to pay me for Monday through Saturday. The games was free. The games is what I no, wanted but, to be there for. But in the contract, the oh games are what God. you get paid. Your contract, I'm, I got you, baby. Hey. Your contract is divided Two between dumb sixteen. No, 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 no. Decide to be together. If your contract divided between sixteen games, your contract is sixteen weeks. Sixteen weeks. Yes. But you get paid per game. Right. You get then, you're RC, missing you're missing the point. You, if they suspend you, RC, if Channing, they suspend but, you, what they suspend you for? They suspend game, you for practice? I, do you they suspend you, you for you practice? practice? You don't practice if you I know, because they suspend you for the game. You get paid for Channing, your four hour performance Channing, on Sunday. You're bro. explaining something to me that I know. No, you I'm don't. I'm talking about what I'm saying is no, you don't. the games is what I was there for. Practice was what you had to pay me for. Yeah, I understand. You're what saying you're the saying. love of the game, but it drove you to. Um, wait said, I don't understand none of your none of your logic. Because look at his shoes. You like uh, those? He got a hey, man with them tight pants. Go with it, dog. Man, I don't know. Charles, when I look like you, I dress like you. Bruh, until you then, as long <laughs> hey, as long as I look like you this, you dream as, about looking like me, dog. Because ooh, you know what? This is what Freddy greatness Krueger. look like. That is a Freddy Krueger hey, nightmare. So to me. you have to go that is work nightmare out. On Elm Street you have to, to me. go work out. You have to do regiments. To, to try to be a man, I am a man. Oh, Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I want to, oh. um, I want to, I want to pivot the conversation. Go ahead, I <laughs> know. Please, right? Crap right there. Um, we're in an age where media is everywhere. Yeah, you know, you do anything. It's in China before Correct. you can snap your fingers. Back in your time, they covered a lot of stuff up. Hell, I forgot that you even uh, backhanded your old coach Seifert back in the day. Bro, you slapped man, Seifert. That was not, that's I never hit that man. What but happened? more importantly, I want to ask you about Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs is a wide receiver, or that was a wide somebody, receiver, right? yes, sir. Right. And they and they passed. The young lady lost yeah. her life. Hey, I drove drunk. Yeah. We we um, all have. Yeah, but um, I'm bipolar. I live in fear in my own head, so I always figured somebody was out to get me. So if I if I went with the guys to a club, some I'll drink whatever I'm drink within the first thirty minutes, and, and then I'm watching everybody, up. right? Because right. yeah, I'm seeing who's trying to get behind me or something, right? So um, that was not something I do. I, and I didn't, um, for drug tests, I, it, all that stuff, I didn't do. But a lot of guys got in trouble, man. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you're right. It, when, I, when I grew up, because there was no media. Right. So it's it's all about hush money or whatever, you know, keep it moving. And not, you know, to be honest with you, um, when you win, people turn, you know, and People, they, look, they, away, they look the other way. Look the other way. You know, but when you ain't winning, they ain't looking the other way. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, and this generation of athletes have no respect for anybody. Mm. Yes, sir. No, sir. That breaks down all the all the anger. Cops walk up to me and they can say whatever they want, and I will tell them, I say, you know what? Because you being an asshole ain't gonna make me hate the other 99 that ain't. Mm -hmm. But I'm still gonna give them his respect regardless. When you know you you speak of the young generation, you speak of the way that things are now with whether whether it's media it and, di changed, and a different bruh. thing. Bro, ain't nothing changed. I, I, I know, but uh, but, but what's changed is, is what changes is now phone. we know though, all Charles. You got is that exactly. Phone now. now we know that it's not it's, it's not one good one and then ninety nine great ones. Yeah, you and obviously what? you have to conduct yourself a certain way, but it does become more difficult when you get to see it. Yeah, but you know what? So what? Um, the media knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. They chose, they picked the stories they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that changed now is, is when it happens, the media don't know, necessarily pick it up. It's because it, it goes viral. Yeah. And so many people comment on it, then they want to join in on the conversation. Mm -hmm. But I do out school reading program, man, mm -hmm. with for kids, man. And I tell them it's not about black or white. Okay. It's not about rich or poor. It's about haves and have not. 100%. Who has the education? Yeah. And the ones that have an education keep moving upward. Okay. Those that don't end up in jail or prison. So that's the real social justice issue of this generation. What are we going to do? Are we going to stay in ignorance all our life? Or are we going to move forward? How have you changed the most since the guy that came at 21 mm -hmm. and had to fly to San Francisco and never hear anybody else speak any other language other than English? English. Right. 
to where you are at today? What, what I would say, what's your biggest progression? I, I, you know, as I tell people, I was a racist because that's what I was, I was being treated as. So, you know, when I got to college, you know, um, Charles McMillan was my head coach, and he was just nice doing everything. Then I, one day I was just sitting there, we were just talking about something, and I just looked back and I realized most of the people that helped me were white. Mm. But yet I'm still sitting here harboring this, this pain because I grew up in a segregated town, might have been called a few names. I said, you know what? I, so I, I had to let that go first. And that helped me propel me to what I'm doing now. And the change is, I'm not, I'm not Hall of Famer, five-time Super Bowl champ, Cowboy 49er. That was a job that I had. Right. Yeah. It's not who you are. That's not who I am. Who I am is Charles Haley, a broken man that's, that has fallen, that has been, been stepped on, walked on, but yet never broken. Antonio Brown, he said, he made that same comment. Football is what I do, not who I am. If he was your teammate from, you know, back in the day, how would you have responded to him walking off the field? Tough love, you would have quit on him? He would not have walked off the field. Right. Because he would have known how much we loved him. Right. From A. Mm -hmm. And it don't matter whether he walked over in the corner, Mm -hmm. the high, I would have been in the corner with him. Because you know what? We go through the same struggles, man. You know what? They so busy on that damn iPhones. I, I go to 49ers Cowboys. They don't talk to one another. That, you ask them, say, what's his son's name? You sit beside him every day in the locker. You don't know. Oh, um, I think it's John or something. I said, he ain't got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, how do you build trust when you don't have a relationship? How do you build Teamwork. Belichick, they said uh, he doesn't have TVs and none of that crap on the walls and stuff. He's still keeping the old way. So now, guess what? You have to talk to to one another. And that's why they win. I'm a big advocate of, you know, I try to tell coaches, you got to find some way to keep the phones out of the locker room Mm -hmm. just so the guys can talk. Mm -hmm. I go over to the Cowboys, I see guys acting like I used to act. Mm -hmm. I grab them by the hand like that little baby. And I take him to see the psychiatrist. Do you regret whether it's not getting help earlier or just some of your behavior as a player? Do you regret the way you treated the media? Do you regret the way you mm, not you, the you media, reacted, but I, you I reacted to certain things because of because of your perception? I wish I would have treated my teammates like I did. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to talk about the way they looked at kids and 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 blah blah blah. I didn't have to do that to get them to do what I wanted. But my thing was is, I need to know if you're a dog or not. Mm-hmm. I need to know if you, real. you know, if I talk about your wife, are you, you know, that don't, that don't spark a spark? You know, I you need to see about a people spark. Wife? I talk about that mom, dad, yeah. cousin, yes. uncle, yes. sister-in-law. Yes. Get information pastor. on them. Did you ever get information on them before the game? No. No, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about teammates. You talking about people in the yeah. locker room with him, oh, Channing? So you had to find information on them to see if they was a dog. Yeah. Yeah, I had to, um, hey, you Shannon, know, that's that, not okay. That that's spark. okay. You got to see if they have you a got, spark. You got to see if they because got it the... turns into a flame. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. And a flame turns you into a forest fire. What's beside you? How you going to go out there and know what's not <laughs> hey, beside you? Hey, Chad, I like that. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I like that. Idiot. You got to see what you're dealing with. This I, hey, was, I was gonna you say, know what? No. I'm glad they set y'all over there because y'all both too. I know. Holes. You know what? We gonna hang. We gonna hang out. And I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick you up tonight. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, dog. Yeah. That man. Going a, out. He said he a changed man. No, he don't want to hang dog. with you. No. no. Does he look like he do light skin things, man? Don't wear lotion. Hey, I, I was so, looking for some lard. And I couldn't find the lard. Spit this happy dad. <laughs> hey, no, you, I almost quit. spit this happy dad. I done heard a story about you, Charles. When I was with the Dolphins, there was a trainer that worked at Dallas and said he used to walk around butt naked. <laughs> and you used to sit there with your big man hanging out. <laughs> and you used to look at other guys bro. and be like, you wish you had this. Channing, why are is you that... fascinated with what? penises, bro? Yeah, I'm man, just what asking with you. Dude, dude, man? What is wrong with okay, you? Okay, RC, let's talk about this. Have why? you ever seen a why? man? My question is, we all play, how, how long do you play football? How many uh, long do you together? play sports? For all together? All my, all my, right. 20-something yeah, so so okay. okay. years? So you're just like me. You've been around naked men all your life. All your life. So. You gonna tell me what? I, hey, bro, 
Sometimes I don't have clothes, man. I just walk around and look Charles, for something. You always have clothes in the no, facility, dog, Charles. No, no, You just sometimes Charles, they take Charles, your bag, your laundry bag. No, Charles, you, you still wanted to... wear an equipment issue <laughs> right now. You are still wearing the clothes they gave no, you, you in hate, Dallas. Jerry you Jones hate. gave you these pants. <laughs> hey, Jerry don't give nothing. <laughs> Y'all, y'all talking about the wrong so, Jerry Charles, Jones. So, so, y'all, I'm out there. I ain't talking about what, the Jerry that I know. But y'all, what's is there any story you heard about yourself that's untrue? Because I heard some. Yeah, crazy you know stuff what? The, the one that bothers me the most is when they said that I alleviated myself on Tim Harris' car, mm -hmm. because wow. me and Tim was friends. What they tried to do was because they thought because they brought Tim in that that was the reason why I'm acting up. I, Tim already knew there was gonna only be one. Mm -hmm. And that was me. Hey, no right. matter what he did at Green Bay, and me and him, we would go out drinking. We would have, we would have contests on who get the most sacks or whatever. You know, there was no animosity towards us because he was a different animal than me and different personality. So that bothers me the most. The rest of the stuff I can deal with and I don't mm -hmm. care. Um, but that one, I, I, it bothers me a lot. And the other thing is, is people say stuff when they get gone. Right. Yeah. You know, they, when you dare, they, nobody says anything, but then, hey, they want to leak and tell things instead of man up. And then why, why fight a battle you can't win? Mm -hmm. The more you try to explain it, the worse it gets. Right. Yeah. You know? So, how, you know, you can either keep, keep digging a hole or stop. And, you ain't got and no, I choose to stop. You ain't got no regrets. I ain't got none. I got one for him. 1999. You was in San Fran still, right? Mm -hmm. Came to Jacksonville, it was raining. That was my second year in the NFL. We towed that ass. Ooh. Up. Oh, Charlie. Ooh. You hit him, Freddie? Hey, let me tell you what I, I, I probably Fred, got a little piece. Fred Taylor does 41. not have a story where they didn't do great. So I'm just saying, that's the year we was good. We was good. It was, was raining. Y'all was good? Yeah, we was good. I'm but not gonna I'm hey, just <laughs> I don't see you me and you're different. I don't need to knock your knees down and stand on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. I'm already on top of your shoulder. So, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? No matter what you say, hey, I love yeah, it, you I can't love knock it. a giant down. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you what. Hey, you are a giant man and you were, without a doubt, Look bro, at that. He got jealous and wanted to touch guess. my hands, too. You saw that? <laughs> you saw that? He was looking for it. You saw him, Doc. Come on, Doc. You got it. You got it, RC. There you go. God, man, you got a little hand. Your hand dry as hell, Charles. It's over, man. I'm I told you I can't get no lard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know if they even, I don't even know if they hey, sell Charles, it. No, so, Charles, you're an OG. Who get more girls out of us three when we was in our prime? <laughs> Who had the most money? That don't well, mean yeah, that, that, That's all that matters. <laughs> that that's all, all that matters. Hey, what about you know the what? When she Harris. walks up, she already done all the money, all the digits, dog. Oh, I love you. What about the charismatic personality? No, no. Your, that, your no, personality is no. actually no. not that you know good, what? bro. It's great. It's you got a charismatic personality? You're just I do. funny. So you want another man to judge you? I yes. judge you. Back in your heyday when you had a cowboy collar, we will raise a baby together. <laughs> he threw you for a little time, for the time for me to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, hey I overstayed my stay. <laughs> Hold up. Limitless. Take a sip of cap, pin in it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, got me up. Uh, on the mission, got me up. Uh, knowing me, I got the key. Uh, on the vision, I can trust. Uh, trust. Uh, limitless. Take a sip of cap, pin in it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling.